Next caller, uh, Charlie, welcome to Chicago Counterpoint with Jeff Leving, and we have uh, accountant extraordinaire Bruce Richmond here today, uh, who is a brilliant accountant, and what can we do for you today? You're on the air, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is this Mr. Living? Yes, this is Hi, Jeffrey Hi, It's very honored to actually hear from you. Actually, I do have a question, and um, I'll make it really short. Um, basically, I'm actually in a, uh, I have a court order for visitation rights uh, to my five-year-old son, which he lives with his mom. And the, the uh, court order is uh, stating that I should go and see him every Wednesday from 5 to 9. Now, I have actually, basically what I do is I have the request of, two-week notice to my job to actually go there and, you know, see him every Wednesday, which is not a problem. So she's basically making plans on that day. So basically now I I don't know what to do. She's basically, basically violating my visitation rights. It's, it's been happening for months now, so I don't know what to do. Well, visitation interference is a crime in the state of Illinois, and this is a serious problem. Okay. Uh, and... You, you can file a petition for a rule to show cause against her for contempt. If she's found in contempt, she can be jailed. Also in Illinois, <coughs> visitation interference is a crime. There's a criminal statute criminalizing visitation interference. So technically, if you call the police, they should assist you. But they don't always do so, and that's why you often need to pursue a civil contempt remedy. But whether you pursue a, 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 a civil contempt proceeding or a criminal cont uh, criminal proceeding, the end result can be the same, which is jail time uh, for her if she's interfering with your visitation and she has no defense. If you want a free copy of the law criminalizing visitation interference, I'll be glad to send you one. If you call the Fatherhood Educational Institute, uh, they will send you a free copy of the law criminalizing visitation interference, which is 312-795-9060. That's 312-795-9060. And also, if you ask for a free copy of Divorce Wars, which is a field guide to the winning tactics, preemptive, preemptive strikes, and top maneuvers when divorce gets ugly, please call. This is a book I wrote that has recently been published. We'll send you a free copy of that. And also, since you brought up this issue of visitation interference, there is a bill, a Senate bill, that just passed the Illinois Senate, uh, which I co-authored, which was sponsored by Senator Martinez. And if this bill becomes law, visitation interference which is already a crime, will continue to be a crime, but interference with joint parenting time will also be a crime, which could protect a lot of fathers and a lot of uh, good mothers and children, because under the current law, uh, visitation interference is a crime, but parenting time interference is not a crime. So a lot of good joint custodial parents residential parents that only have parenting time and not visitation rights, their legal parenting rights are not protected under the criminal law in the state of Illinois. So this new legislation uh, may change this. And if you're interested, Stella mentioned this in her column today in the Chicago Sun-Times on page 52 where she talks about this bill. So if you have the Sun-Times, feel free to pick it up, page 52. And she does mention the Senate bill. Uh, 2827, and I know our producer has attention, Bruce. Uh, another caller on the air. All right. Well, even though the uh, the lines are lit up, I'm going to need a name uh, to get somebody on the air. So, who? What name can you give me, and we'll get somebody on the air right now, unless there's a technical difficulty. Uh, but the the uh, lines appear to be lit up. Uh, but in the meantime, if anybody wants a free copy of uh, Divorce Wars. Uh, feel free to call 312-795-9060. And now the phones are working. Uh, if you could hold that up, uh, it's uh, it's upside down. Turn it around. All right, Miss Smith. Thank you, Miss Smith. Welcome to Chicago Counterpoint with Jeffrey Loving and Bruce Richman. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing this evening? Yeah, and don't I'm let the well. yeah, and don't let the squeaking bother you. The chair I'm sitting on is making a tremendous amount of noise. It needs to be oiled, and I hope. <laughs> that noise is not going out on the air, because if it is, you're going to have a hard time hearing me. But what can we do for you today? 
I can hear you just fine. Thank you. The reason for my call is I'm uh, talking about visitation. In my divorce decree, I am the custodial parent, but the father, he is supposed to come and pick up the children every other weekend. I'm lucky if I see him mm, two, three months. He comes and gets them when he wants to. Do I have any rights as a custodial parent? To my understanding, I don't have the liberty to make him come and pick up his children. Well, you're bringing up a very in interesting point, and Bruce, this is a very sad scenario where the law needs a correction. Legislative reform sometimes is necessary. And unfortunately, in the state of Illinois, visitation is a right. If somebody has a court order giving them visitation rights, an obligation. It's, it's right, exactly. Bruce just hit the nail on the head. It's not an obligation. That's the problem. And I do believe legislative reform is important here because I believe visitation uh, should in part be an obligation so there can be stability for children and custodial parents. But right now, child support's an obligation. If so, if a if a non-custodial parent doesn't pay child support, he or she uh, can go to jail. But uh, if a non-custodial parent doesn't exercise a visitation right, that's not jailable. It's it's a right, not an obligation. And I understand the frustration and pain you're going through. But uh, what you probably need to do is talk to your state senator, state legislator. Uh, I know uh, state representative Paul Froelich would probably love to talk to you because this would be important to him because he's pro-child. Pro and if you want to talk to me more about this, uh, if there's a way I could try and guide you in this, call me at 312-795-9060. 312-795-9060. And our next caller uh, 